hello guys i'm back and in today's video i'm actually going to talk about my people who consume this substance this is a traditional or herbal medicine aka ago but wait whenever i want to take in this substance you always take about the negative effect of it now come closer let me tell you something it's not that i'm discouraging you or stopping you from taking in these substances but I just want to tell you the implication of the substances you take. Continue. Herbal or traditional medicines are active ingredients made either from plants, leaves, even flowers. But being natural does not necessarily mean they are good for you to take. Photo? Not be juju be that. Yes, I know you consume these substances without purification and even a specific dosage. And even some of you go ahead by taking this drug at the same time with the one you purchase from the pharmacy. Now listen to the implication of these substances you take. As soon as you take in these substances, do you know that it has effects to some of your body organs such as the kidney, even the liver? You they use your function to play. Herbal or traditional medicines have potential effects to the liver. Liver is one among the organs in the body that helps in metabolism and also to break down drugs into simpler units. As soon as you consume these substances without purification, without specific dosage, and even go ahead by combining it with the ones you buy from the pharmacy, they all meet at the liver and also become toxic to the liver, which may lead to some of liver problems or liver diseases such as hepatitis, liver cirrhosis and even end up in chronic liver disease and one bad thing about these liver diseases are they remain in your body unnoticed until it get to certain stage you cannot reverse it back and which may later end up in death herbal or traditional medicines have an actual effect to the kidney kidney is one among the organs in the body that helps in production of urine and elimination of waste product as soon as liver is unable to detoxify these substances, they all move to the kidney for elimination. As soon as they reach the kidney, the quantity of these substances is going to be too much for the kidney for elimination. Thereby, they continue to accumulate within the kidney and causing or becoming toxic to the kidney and later lead to some of these kidney diseases such as renal calculi, urinary tract infection and even end up in kidney failure. These are some of the negative effects of these substances. I hope this video is going to be helpful. Please don't forget to follow, share at ABKM Medics. Enjoy your weekends.